up, everybody? Welcome back to A Beer a Day with TK. It is Saturday evening, and I'm at the house getting ready to have a beer. Um, the beer I'm going to review today is Bell's Light Hearted Ale. Um, this is in, you know, kind of keeping with the other beers that I've done over the past few days that are either low-calorie, low-carb, or both. So um, Bell's Light Hearted Ale, I'm guessing, is kind of a um, lighter version of their Two-Hearted Ale, which is won multiple awards and is, you know, well-respected beer. Um, even the can art's kind of similar with the fish on there. So we'll check this out. This one is 110 calories, 8.7 carbs, and comes in at 3.7 ABV. So if we compare this to some of the beers we looked at over the past few days, the lighter beers, calorie-wise, it's a little bit higher, coming in at 110. I think the others are around 98 or 100. Um, Carb-wise, this is 8.7, so this is fairly significantly higher than the others. Um, I think on the lightest end, they were 2.4s with the Yingling Flight, maybe the Ultra. Um, I think one of the other ones was around 5-ish or something like that, maybe 4 point something. Um, but at 8.7, this one's significantly more. So I guess if you're worried about calories, it's not too bad. If you're counting carbs, this one's a little higher. Um, all right, so this is Bells. They're out of Comstock, Michigan. I went to the website, uh, and there was a bunch of information on there. It's quite useful. Looks like they have two breweries, one that's in Kalamazoo and one in Comstock. Um, unfortunately, the brewery tours are done because of the COVID. They're not happening right now, although they were operating at other capacities. So it looked like um, the cafe was still open. You could do curbside pickup and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you can still enjoy some of the Bell's facilities, just no tours for the time being. Um, this is the third Bell's beer that I've reviewed. I did the Sticky, Icky, Icky, and the Mule beer, which was the Moscow Mule-inspired one. And generally, I think Bell's is a pretty solid brewery, so I'm kind of happy to try this one. Uh, one other thing to note on the website, they actually had some recipes, which I thought was pretty cool, that you could make with their beers. So they had a Christmas ale cherry chocolate bread, which sounds absolutely amazing. Um, sadly, I found it now when I'm trying to reduce a bit and watch what I'm intaking. But if you're not, give it a shot. Cherry chocolate bread with the Christmas ale. That sounds great. All right, using the Sam Adams glass today. Um, it's a pretty nice smell on it right away. For the color, eh, it's there. I mean, it's kind of a um, darker golden color. Um, fairly effervescent, fair amount of, of bubbles going by there, if you can see them. And the head, pretty healthy. I mean, that's a, a nice size head, probably two fingers or so, pretty pretty frothy looking. Um, fairly persistent, looks like it's clinging to the edges a little. So that's a, a positive thing for a, a light beer, right? Smell. Mostly kind of a citrusy grapefruit. And a little bit of a, a piney hops thing, um, you know, kind of, I guess, what you'd expect if we're dealing with an IPA. Not as strong as you'd expect with the Two-Hearted Ale or, or some of the other, uh, I guess, fuller IPAs. But it's there. The smell is what you think it should be. It's just kind of toned down a little bit. Taste kind of similar. Um, I think you get the citrus fruit thing kind of right away. Um maybe some grapefruit or something like that. Then it kind of goes to like a, a bready malty thing. And then you kind of get the pine resin at the end, the, the hops. This is a good beer. Um, it, it honestly kind of tastes like a, a lighter version of the Two Hearted, which I guess obviously is what they were going for. Uh, but I think they delivered. Um, the mouthfeel, I think this is, it's got a decent body to it. Some of the ones we had of these, these light beers were so light, it just straight tasted like tap water. I don't think this does. It's definitely on the light side, but I think it's more light, medium light as opposed to um, tap water kind of consistency. Let's see, for ratings, untapped 3.56, beer advocate of 3.76, and the rating was an 85, very good. Um, I think that's probably about accurate. This is a good beer. Even if you weren't on a diet, you're not counting carbs or calories, this is drinkable. It's not bad. This would be a nice session IPA. Um, you could drink a few of these if you're not a hop monster, want to get beat over the head with hops. This is kind of a, a nice beer. You get the hops, you get that nice IPA taste, but it's not kind of overwhelming where it's going to give you a heartburn or something. Bell's Lighthearted Ale, you get the thumbs up. 
If you like this video, please hit that uh, thumbs up button, give me a like. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, if you've tried this, jump in on the comments. Let me know what you think about it. And as always, if you have anybody who's interested in the video, please share. We're always trying to grow the audience. Hey, until next time, have a great weekend. Cheers.